Hi, welcome to Universal Interiors. I'm Les Inglestead along with Uni Fegley. And we're pretty excited what's going to happen today is we're going to take a little Q&A time for you. The questions are going to come from the audience. So what is the difference between Christianity and religion? Yeah, that's a pretty easy one. I don't want to make it too easy. To answer something that like okay I've heard that before but first thing that comes to Les's mind is that they're so different they're just so different because Jesus is Christianity his law of love was basically to say it's about having a relationship with me religion makes it a whole bunch of rules what do you think Missy when you hear that well the, it's a unique question especially where I'm at in my life sure. because even though Christianity is saying yes to Jesus, mm -hmm. inviting him into your life, and he is the leader of your life, which is what it is all about. Sure. But religion is the rules. Yeah. But the rules are important as well. So in my mind, I would say um, Christianity is we get to, religion is we have to. Okay, that makes sense too. When I have, which it's true, like you said, is important. But like with me, I look through the ways of all the different religions in the world and I get really like a little bit uptight when somebody says, well, they're basically all the same. And then that gets me, me just a little bit like, oh, but no. It, so you kind of answer that, that you get to, you have, you can never do enough, ever to get the peace that God just promises to give if you trust in Him. So Christianity is just it's like the simplest childlike faith. That's the biggest. Makes our God like the happiest. Like a child. Yeah. And in religion there's so much. But I know one time a long ago I read a book and it said something along the lines of they're looking for something in shop you know like you're just going along window shopping and you see this little present in the window and one of them says free take me and the other one says you know it costs a lot and and it hmm. both looking about the same i hope this is pretty close to what i remembered but people aren't going to quite get it when it says free take me kind of a thing because you feel like you have to pay something you gotta you work to for it. something you gotta <laughs> work for it you can't just get it and um, but that's the idea of grace. That's the idea that um, Christianity was seriously founded on and is about. But we get kind of messy as people because we think we have to. We have to do something. It's got to cost us something. Or another thing is we can go in the ditch of grace, or we can go in the ditch of rules. Do do. Yeah. Jesus made it easy when he said, "Human being, just just be." Not yeah. doing. We're not human doings. Nope. And yet we're just, and then we come along the side of religion and you can catch this um, performance. And, but you got to mm -hmm. do something. Yep. You know, and yeah, I mean, the word talks about faith over and over again. And, and it's not until you get shook sometimes you really understand where your faith is at. Mm -hmm. Or you can just kind of go, you know what? I'm in for a ride. I got it good. It doesn't matter because I'm here and I've got it forever because I've chosen Jesus. So in Christianity, that should free us up to not be fearful. And yet, at the same time, I, I think that gets missed a lot in Christianity. Mm -hmm. I think we still have fears out there. And, and that shouldn't be part of it. But maybe I've left the subject on that idea. Did that answer the audience's question? Any other questions? So why is it important to get baptized? Hmm. So we, without wanting to say our way, their way, we're not yeah. at all trying to tell anybody any which way to run it. What I know Uni would agree with me 100% is read it for yourself in the Bible. You know, it's as simple as that. Many people, and I'm not trying to take over this but many people especially in our community in our culture not even culture but in let's just say in the Midwest with our Scandinavian heritage or German heritage we come from more or less the Lutheran side where they have the baby and the Catholicism and they have the baby baptism but then there's many out there 
that we don't have so much around our area. The Baptist evangelicals, all that sort of non-denominationals will have the baptism when they're older, right? Mm -hmm. So I was one of those raised baby, so I was baptized, had the little sponsors growing up in my denomination, but I also came to a relationship on my own when I was 18, and with that came a newfound idea, and that baptism was, I'm making a confession out loud with my lips today, and it was one of the greatest days of my life because I walked in, it was a midnight in Colorado, and walked into a pool, and this is what happened for me personally, is that as I was there, they said to get immersed, is to get under, because baptismal means to get under the water, and to walk out in newness. Mm -hmm. And with that particular, I was blessed enough to have my husband, who was at that time my best friend, and we did this baptism service, but what ended up happening was the young preacher that was with us, said to me, you see that little drain over there on that pool? And we're both like, mm-hmm. I mean, we're pretty young. We're just listening. We're like, okay, we're going to do this. And, um, and it was right. We knew it was right. And he said, that drain right there, when you come back out of the water, everything's washed away because that's what you claimed. That's what you confessed. And that's what you're standing on. And to this day, I know my whole heart that that can't come back. He even said, sometimes the enemy, sometimes those words, sometimes our old life, the things that we just messed up with, can God forgive me? He was telling me this during that service, and he said, all of that is washed away. That water will never come back on you, will it? You can't get that back. You're cleansed. You're clean. And that is a very important part of my step in my faith was mm -hmm. that baptism that day. And um, never forgot it. I can remember right where that drain was. And uh, yeah, cool. it cleaned me right on up, literally. But at the same time, in my whole spiritual being, I knew what that baptism for Leslie Inglestead meant. And how about you? Another story for sure. Well, yeah. I remember it was probably about 14 when I was baptized. I remember my dad actually baptized mm -hmm. me and he... It was just it was just that step you give your life to Jesus for me anyway. Right. Um, you give your life to Jesus and that's another step to say I want immersed and you come out like you're saying but um, it was like don't the old man is drowned yeah, it's in it's yeah he's just drowned and you come up and you walk out fresh with a new mindset yeah that's huge so yeah right? so you you get help now you're helping the spirit is there to help you because yeah. we can try all we want I think with a baby like in in our denomination mm -hmm. we do like a baby dedication right. and I think that maybe like an infant baptism right. would be kind of maybe like we dedicate this baby to the Lord. I don't know. I'm and I was raised in a denomination, and I did ask that in later years, too. And it was because in the, the Word talks about that we are born in sin. And because of that, people have literally said, okay, so then you're impure. But we do know how perfect that baby is. But at the same time, out of respect, I'm saying this, I guess that's why the denominations oftentimes do it. And um, I, I, I pray that it's not a fear, it's just a faith thing that they've done. And then in a following about the time maybe Eunice had said 14, there'll be a confirmation of that faith. So that's the best we can explain it. We're not trying to tell you how to, shouldn't do. But Look it up. Yeah, yeah. It's a great gift that God gave us. And we celebrate the opportunity to share some of these questions and answers, uh, according to us girls, <laughs> that we just want you to enjoy life and have a beautiful today. Yay.